people say you can't do it, so you did it, which yeah. I love. Yeah, I, the film is not a huge financial success yet, so maybe I haven't proven them wrong yet. Exegesis Lovecraft here at the Real World Film Festival. Congratulations on this. So what was the inspiration behind telling the story? Sure. So I've been a huge H.P. Lovecraft fan since I was a kid, and I wanted to always do a documentary about him. Everyone in my school was like, it's too, his work is unadaptable, right? So of course, it was spite that drove the whole film. I was like, I got to do it, even though everyone told me not to. So I made this documentary about his life. It kind of gets into uh, the dark aspects of his life, where he was, he was a huge racist, said some very nice things about Adolf Hitler, so not the nicest man. But it kind of gets into people who are still fans of him, despite being from the groups that he was kind of against. A never-before-seen documentary on the life and works of H.P. Lovecraft. When you're doing a documentary, how do you tackle something like this that's a monstrosity? When you're handling a biography of someone, you usually have a huge crew of people researching their life, getting into it. With me, it's a very low-budget film. The thing I had, though, is like there's such a devoted fan base for H.P. Lovecraft that was willing to help me you know, like put their hearts out. There was yes. something they've always wanted to talk about and no one was talking to them about this right. stuff. So that kind of like made it very easy to, to research the film, to take it on. That is not dead, which can eternal lie. So what's one message you want people to walk away from when they watch your movie? You know what? This movie, I made it myself, uh, very low budget, and if I can do it, you can do it. So I hope you watch this, get inspired, make a movie, write a song, make a sonnet, do, do something, right? Follow me on social media, at Melissa DeMarco. I'll see you guys out there.